what's going on everybody welcome back thanks for tuning in if you're new we're gonna be heading out here targeting some speckled trout and you guessed it redfish we're gonna be throwing artificial lures and see if we can't trick a few into bite this morning let's get out here and see if we can't make something happen dog top water by mirror lure real loud probably the one of the loudest top waters on the market it really draws them in right by the kayak. Oh, he's still on. Is he swimming with it? Yeah. These trout are fired up, buddy. That's a nice trout, too. Oh, he's gonna go crazy with all the trouble. Easy, easy, easy. A nice trout, man. Red out of this guy. Solid one. Hey, cast that thing a country mile. Oh, oh. Oh, huge trout just blew up. Oh, there he is. He came up and hammered it. Oh, that trout just came up and absolutely hammered it. Seen that tail come up out of the water. He smacked it. Oh, that is a pretty trout too. Calm down, buddy, calm down. Boom, that is a beautiful trout. Boom. Look at that pretty girl. Big body trout on the top water. Seen her come up and absolutely hammer it. Man, I need to start keeping a few of these guys. That's a thick, healthy, beautiful trout. Let me keep some later. Let's get back in there and get another one. Trail. Smack that top water, man. That beautiful sunrise. The wind is really picking up on us. There's reds all over right there blowing up. I can see their wakes, see the birds hitting the water. Lure's about to get nailed. Make it look like an easy meal for him. Bird 
just trying to get my lure. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Come off, he come off. I think that was a redfish. Oh man. I paused it right there and he just absolutely smoked it. There they are. I see that bait popping out there again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. Right around that bait pile. Oh, there's more in here too. I gotta back up. Oh yeah, this guy is pulling some drag on me. Big red. Big red fish. Ooh, he is pulling some drag on me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Absolutely inhaled that spoon. We're horsing on this guy quite a bit. Oh, gosh. Beautiful red. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there he goes. He's diving on me. Digging, digging, boy. Hey, look at the bow in that rod, man. Love fighting these reds. Ooh. And he's not huge. He's big bodied, though. He's big bodied. He's probably about a 24, 25. Wide though, real wide. Come here, dude. Let me go ahead and grab that net for this guy. Oh, real wide red, big and. might get rained on boys look how beautiful and sunny it is right here pan around yeah yeah we got some stuff moving in over here well that Sun has completely disappeared we've got this dense fog that's moved in in all directions man it is absolutely crazy all there's stuff blowing up right here Oh, let's get in there and see what it is. Might need a bigger top water. That wind has picked up a little bit. Let's put this larger top water on and see what happens. We got some crazy fog rolling in. Yeah, I knew it. Needed a bigger profile top water. You like them long pauses, man. That's when they're hitting it. We've got some clear water out here. Nice. Pretty clear. It's definitely clearing up. Well, there went a plume. There went a nice plume. Well, the sun's out, the wind's laid down. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. Kind of some crazy weather, but it's nice now. 
We're gonna make our way over here to this next set of spoil islands and see what we can pick up. Did a little relocating while that fog passed through. Been some crazy weather today. We'll or work some of the spoil islands over here. See if we can't pick up some reds hanging around. The lure I'm throwing is the Texas made lures. This is in the color Texas Hammer Peppercorn. Sometimes I'll take and trim these down if I think the fish are keen in on a smaller bait profile. It's kind of what I did today. I absolutely love this color. Nice dark silhouette. Got that big gold flake in it. Gives off some flash. I really like this bait. You can see I only got two left. There's a red. Dang. Just spooked one. There he goes. He thumped it. Has he got it? Yeah, I see the plumes up there. Pulled it out of his mouth. He definitely thumped it. Yeah, I spooked the whole school right here. Look at these plumes. One of them got a taste of that barb and then the other one spooked with him. Usually do pretty good over in this area by these cabins on the water. Or these two islands, these spoil islands come together. A lot of redfish normally. I'm already seeing a few plumes. I just scared a couple. There we go. There we go. A nice red. Coming straight at me. Woo! Look at him go. <laughs> We're just working this drift along the side of these spoil islands. Jigging some soft plastics. It's only about a foot, foot and a half of water. You can see how shallow it is. Come on, come on. This guy took off on me. Pretty red. Trying to get around my rudder. Come here. Oh, powerful little dude. Nice little mid slot red. These reds aren't the longest, but they are thick right now. They're feeding up, man. Powerful fish. Love catching them. All right, let's get this guy back. There you go. I just spooked some red sitting in this pocket. Well, spring definitely brings about some wacky weather patterns. Crystal clear blue skies out. This morning we had that crazy dense fog roll in on us. Wind shifted around quite a few times. I feel like we did more exploring today than we did fishing. Sometimes that's part of the fun. We did identify some areas hitting around a couple of those spoil islands where there's some good reds holding. So maybe a video for the future. Comment down below if you guys want to see something specific and maybe we can plan to make that happen. I'm gonna head back to the launch. Consider subscribing if you guys enjoyed the video. I do appreciate you watching. Tight lines until next time. See ya.